All right, guys. Welcome back. Uh, today, uh, me and Noah's gonna do something a little bit different. We ain't going hunting. Uh, it's something that we do uh, after we go hunting. Uh, as y'all seen in the in the last video, uh, when Noah shot that uh, six pointer on that hunt trip that we went on, uh, we just brought the we just brought the deer head back uh, with us instead of letting the taxidermy do it. Uh, we normally do the uh, European mounts, and uh, this was the one that I killed this year uh, in one of the videos. And uh, we European mounted that one too. So uh, we're just going to show you all how we do it today. Uh, the, Euro the European mount on a deer skull. So uh, right now I got it. I got the deer out here. Um, I got the deer out here just unthawing because uh, we had it in the freezer uh, for two days. Uh, just preserving it until we could do this. But I just got a turkey fryer hooked up to some to a propane tank and I fill it up with water uh, the first time just to unthaw the deer and then we'll skin the deer, get all the fur off and cut uh, as, mo as much of the meat as we can off until uh, and then we'll empty the dirty water and put a dish soap in it and fill it back up with water and then let it boil for a while and then I got a pressure washer that we pressure wash. Uh, all the all the meat off of it until it's just bone so i hope you all enjoyed today's video i know it's a little bit different but i figured it'd be a good video for some of y'all who still let the taxidermy do it and just save that much more money uh, you can just do it yourself we bought this pretty fryer for uh, i'd say 50 dollars maybe so uh anyway hope you all enjoyed today's video and i'll catch back up with you when when it gets done uh unthawing Right, guys we just poured it or we just took it out of the boiler it's been in there for a little while and uh it's finally pretty much thawed out so uh, we can get to cutting so i always start off at the top of the head and uh i always get a brand new blade every time i do it and i lost it where'd it go it had a fell in my pocket i guess it fell through that hole <laughs> <laughs> I always start at the at the top of the nose and run run all the way up and I get a new blade uh, every time I do this because it it's razor sharp And then just work your way all the way around the deer. Alright guys, I pretty much got most of the head done. Now we just cut the cut the ears off and get a lot of that stuff out of the way. And we can really get to cutting off some of the meat. Some more, some more meat off of the uh, the head after it's been in the uh, in the pot for a while boiling, and uh, we 
separated the top and bottom jaw and that's about all we've done so we put it back in the boiler and now it's just a whole bunch of pressure washing so uh, as soon as it gets warm back up and uh, boiling a little bit more uh, we're gonna break out the pressure washer and start the pressure washing this meat off uh, but anyway i'll catch you catch you whenever it gets to boiling pretty good oh and we uh, pulled out the old water and put in uh, dish soap and new water in there so it should be clean for the rest of the for the rest of the time and then right before on the last brush washer we'll uh, change it out one more time but uh anyway it's gonna get pretty messy now so uh, with all this brush washing guys I just got done with the with the bottom jaw here and uh, it, it looks really good uh, just kept on boiling and fresh washing and boiling and fresh washing and one of the teeth one of the uh, tooth fell out but Noah had found it on the ground so uh, we're just gonna wait and uh, let it all dry and then glue in that that one tooth but uh, we got the bottom jaw done and the heads the top the top of the head is almost done so uh, we're just going to keep on boiling and fresh washing until it gets done, but uh, we got half of it done so far. Welcome back. Uh, it's the next day, and uh, we got done pressure washing this deer head yesterday, and uh, we hung them up to dry last night, and they've been drying all day today too. So uh, the last thing, uh, I was just gonna mount the the bottom jaw on the skull, and what I do, I just get a I get a drill and uh, drill a hole here and on this side too, and then. I've always put self-tappers in there. That's what the taxidermy did uh, that I used to pay uh, to do it for me. He used the self-tapper, so I've always done it too. And that tooth that fell out again. So we're gonna have to glue glue that uh, bottom jaw tooth in. But anyway, just drill two holes in here. And then I always attach it and uh, line up where they're gonna go and mark it with a pin and then drill two holes 
and the side of the skull and then uh, just drill them in and uh, it'll hold real good but anyway we're gonna get started and it really don't take much at all to drill right through that little bone and you'd think it cra it would crack, but it, it don't. I've never had one do it. Just try and get them as even as you can. So uh, when you put that self tapper in there, it doesn't it doesn't uh, crack it, and it it aligns pretty good on the skull. So I'm gonna go get a pin now and uh, put it on the skull and mark it. Uh, it didn't work that time, so now we'll just drill two holes in the in the skull. And uh guess I can make sure it aligns one more time before we drill the holes. attach the self tappers I don't tighten them all the way down until you get them both lined up so Pinch them together and tighten them down. Sometimes you gotta mess with a little bit to get it perfect. Tighten one side down more than the other. But that one had a line actually really good. That's the finished product though. Looks real good. We still gotta still gotta glue that tooth in, I forgot, so we'll lay that to the side too. Well, I guess that's about it for uh, today's video. So hope y'all hope y'all really enjoyed today's video, and maybe it'll save y'all a little bit of money, uh, like it did, like it did me. And I, I enjoy doing that too. And it's a whole lot quicker process. Uh, just like, for example, that that deer we did just now. Uh, Noah killed it the day. Well, he killed it two days before, but we just got home a day after he shot it. So it took uh, one day for us to do it pretty much. I mean, we could have done it that afternoon, but we had other stuff to do and had to unpack from the trip and stuff, but uh, as soon as you, it took us three hours, so as soon as you start, it should only take you three or four hours, depending on if you get pretty good and efficient at it, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. This is
什么？